Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys how to make a delicious mole. In case you just wanna learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need seven New Mexico or Guajillo chili pods, one chili pasilla, a half of a small white onion, one Roma tomato, a half of a Mexican chocolate disc, four garlic cloves, two bay leaves, 15 salatine crackers, one inch of cinnamon stick, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, four allspice, three whole cloves, a quarter teaspoon of whole cumin, and three pounds of chicken. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first you wanna make sure that your chicken is nice and clean, and once we have our chicken, now we are ready to begin cooking. All right, so in a large pot, we're going to add about 16 cups of water. We're going to set it on high heat. We're going to add salt, half of our onion, our two bay leaves, and two garlic cloves. So we're just going to wait for our water to come to a boil. All right guys, so once our water comes to a boil, we're going to throw in our chicken, and we're going to cook it for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right guys, so while we wait for our chicken, we're going to clean out our chili pots. So I'm just using a damp paper towel and just kind of rub them to make sure you clean them. We're going to remove the stem as long with the seeds. And just do that with all your chili pots. All right, so once we have our chili all nice and clean, now we're just going to set them to the side until we're ready to make our sauce. All right, so for our chicken, we're going to skim the top off. Just get rid of all that. All right, so now we're just going to continue waiting for our chicken. All right, guys, so after 25 minutes, our chicken should be fully cooked. So now I'm just going to remove it from the broth, and we're going to reserve nine cups of our broth. All right, so I'm going to strain nine cups of broth. Okay. So I got rid of the re uh, remaining broth. All right, so now we're just going to return the nine cups of our broth back to the pot. Okay, now we can begin frying our ingredients for our sauce. All right guys, so the chocolate, we're going to throw it in, in our broth. And now we're going to grab a small frying pan and we're going to set it on medium heat. All right, so we're going to begin by toasting our sesame seeds. So once they switch color, we're going to throw them into our blender cup. All right, so next is our cinnamon stick, our allspice, our cloves, and cumin. So we're just going to toast them for a couple seconds, and then we're going to transfer them into our blender cup as well. All right, so transfer. All right, and now for the fun part, we're going to add some oil into our pan, and we're going to fry the remaining of our ingredients. So just wait for that to heat up. All right, so we're going to begin by frying our chiles in just a couple seconds. And then we're going to transfer them into our broth. All right, so we're just going to soften our chiles. Okay, and once they're soft, we're going to transfer them into our broth. All right, so next is the onion. And the garlic cloves. So just until they soften. Once our onion and garlic are ready, we're going to transfer them into our blender cup. Okay, so next is the crackers. And the crackers, the crackers are meant for, to thicken up the sauce. So 
So if you don't have crackers, you can use a tortilla or bread. So as soon as they switch color, transfer them into the blender cup as well. Okay, and lastly, our tomato. Alright, so once our tomato has softened, we're going to transfer it into our blender cup as well. Alright, so I'm just going to transfer the chiles back into the blender as well. So we can get ready to blend everything together and make our mole sauce. Alright, so now this is all optional, but I'm going to add one jar of mole. Now we're going to transfer our broth back. Okay, now we are ready to blend. All right, so now we're going to blend everything together until we have a smooth sauce. All right, so once we have our sauce, now we are ready to cook our mole. All right, so now I'm going to grab a large pot and I'm going to set it on medium heat. And of course you can use the same pot that we use to boil our chicken. And now we're just going to add a little bit of oil. And that's just going to prevent our sauce from sticking to the pan or the pot. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up. All right, so once our pot is hot, we're going to add our sauce. And I'm going to add the remaining broth into my blender cup. And now we're just going to whisk until our sauce thickens up. Okay, guys, so once our sauce looks something like this, at this point it should be about to simmer. So now we're just going to add our chicken back into the mole. But before that, make sure that you try it for salt and see if it needs any. And if it does, go ahead and add it. For me, it is perfect, so I'm not going to add any salt. For now, we're going to return our chicken. So now reduce the heat to the lowest setting. And we're going to give it about 10 minutes. All right guys, so after 10 minutes, our mole is ready. So now we are ready to enjoy. All right, so I'm just going to serve my mole with some rice and spaghetti. So I'm just going to grab my chicken. Where's the sauce? And serve with some corn tortillas. And now we are ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the, the taste, taste test. test. Now let me tell you guys that this is a staple for our family. Uh, we like to enjoy this plate or this dish uh, for our birthdays, um, just any celebration is seriously the best. So now you ready? Yes. Okay, so I like to dip my tortilla into the sauce. So, oh, you know what, but I gotta try the chicken too. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, let me figure it out. Okay, cheers. Mm. The sauce. Mmm. Seriously, the best. And for us, it's not too sweet. Um, it's not too spicy. It's just right in the middle. But of course, if you don't want it to be spicy at all, just don't use New Mexico chili pots. Use Guajillo. Or you can add more chocolate. But it is perfect. Go. Mm -hmm. So good. 
Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make a delicious mole. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you ever create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.